Welcome to Learn Chi with Opoku. In this final episode on the lesson on Chi singular and plural nouns, we will consider those nouns that form plural nouns with the surface nom, as well as those nouns whose singular and plural nouns remain the same. Stay tuned. Yeah, so now we go to kinship. And that is those that we have family ties with. And for them, the plural form, each will take the surface nom. So I take it once again. With this group of nouns, in the plural form, they all take the surface word, nom. Let's take a first person. That will be our blood relation. For me, that is what my brothers and sisters, siblings. So, in three, you write siblings as what? Nia. The next will be who? Parents. Mm? And that is the, for the parents, we will have what? Father. And that is a ja. Or papa. Both words mean what? Father. And then we come to what? Mother. After mother, who comes next? Okay, uncle. And then auntie. And who else? Your grandparents. Yeah, these are some of the examples of kinship nouns that we have. So we have nia, and that is sibling. In plural, that is siblings, we will have this. And nianum, and nianum. And that is siblings. And like I said, all of these kinship nouns, in their plural form, they take the surface nom. Nom. So let's go. Eja will have what? Eja nom. Papa will have papa nom. Fathers. Enna, that is mother, or mommy, it also means mother. In plural form, we have what? This. Mothers. So, enna or mommy, that is singular for mother. In plural form, we have what? Enanum or mommy, num, mothers. Wafa, that is uncle. We have wafanum. Sewa, and that is aunt. Sewanum. And then the grandparents. The grandparent, nana. One is nana. Prura, we say nananum. Grandparents. 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 And now we're going to the next group. And in this group, plural and singular, they are the same. They don't change. First on the list, we have Sika. And that is money. We don't have plural, we don't have singular. We say Sika. Whether it is one, two, three, or four, or five, we say Sika. Sika. Plural or singular, we say Sika. The next is Area San. Area, we say Area. We don't have plural or singular. Area, that is all. We say Area. We also say this Nkatie. Nkatie. Nkatie, and that is granite or granite. The plural and singular, 
remain the same. So in Tetia, the small ant, whether singular or plural, we say this in Tetia. We also have We also have Nkrani. Nkrani, that is the big ant. And this big ant, we refer to the black one, the big ant. Whether plural or singular, we say Nkrani. One of them will say Nkrani. Two thousands of them will say Nkrani. So this one, plural and singular, remain the same. Apart from this one also, we also have um, Nhohua, the red big ant, or the red big ant. One, we say Nhohua. More than one, we say Nhohua. So plural and singular remain the same. Yeah, so at the end, what are we saying? We are, we are saying that the P nouns, in order to form plural nouns, they normally take the prefaces A, M, and then M. A typical example we have Abofra, Abofra, that is Chad. In plural form, it will be what? Mofra, 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 in plural form. And then also, some of them, in order to form plural nouns, they take the surface for, for or for, asika for, mm, ahim for. And then some will also take nom, especially kinship nouns. They will take nom, enyanom, nananom, ejanom, enanom. These are some of the kinship nouns. We have learned all that. But a pertinent question that one will ask is how would you determine or how would you know as to whether which nouns should be prefixed with a, m, and n? For the answer, check the subsequent videos for that. However, if you want to be informed whenever I make new videos, then kindly click on the subscribe button and thanks for watching.